Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy, but you know that this channel's all about creating journals to tell an ancestral story. Now, when we last met, I had made this trifold fabric hinged journal, thinking that I would tell the story about our family trips to Mo Clips and Claylock, Washington, which is along the coast. The problem is, that if I wanted to print out a map and pictures of the area, I couldn't make them any smaller than this three by five because otherwise we'd lose the lettering and they don't fit in there. So I'll show you the solution I came up with uh, and we'll make this live. I decided to get some paper that looked kind of foresty, didn't have any pine trees, but I settled for this and I folded it in half and then I folded up the bottom so that I will have several tuck spots in which to place these. Let me zoom out just ever so slightly, see what we can accomplish so that you can see this better. Okay. All right, so I basically made a folio. And what I had to do here so that there won't be a lot of bulk when I fold it over is you will see that I've cut instead of on the line of the fold, just slightly to the left and slightly to the right of the fold. Now I'm ready to apply our um, art glitter glue. Only thing I could figure out to do. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, you could just use this art glitter glue the minute before and then it does this, but let's see if this will work now. There we go. Okay, so I only need to put it along the sides because the bottom is the fold and the top is where we want to be able to slip in the photographs. This kind of reminds me of our report folders that had three little brads in them um, that we used in elementary school for our book reports. Uh, that was in the days when we knew how to uh, use fountain pens and penmanship was part of your grade. Okay. Now I think what I'm going to do is put the two maps actually right here. I have two maps. One that shows, let me just try to get a little closer so you can see it. It's all about zooming in and out, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this is Seattle. This is the Olympic Peninsula. And most of it is um, mountainous and uninhabited. It's only on little parts of the perimeter. And Moclips is right here. So generally, um, take a ferry across, cut through Shelton and come over. You could go down through Puyallup, Olympia and all that, but it takes a long time. Whatever you do, you have to go through Aberdeen, Ocean Shore, and then up the, um, up along the uh, Pacific Ocean. This is north. Okay, so I'm going to place this right here. We'll need some more of that art glitter glue. Uh, now, somebody asked me, how am I printing these? In fact, in one of our um, online Facebook groups, it's not mine, it's somebody else's. Um, somebody said, do you go to Kinko's or Office Depot to print your things? Well, I print this on an Epson EcoTank, which the bottles of ink are less expensive than the cartridges that uh, a normal um, inkjet printer would use. Let me show you. This is solid fill of ink. You undo the top and when you invert this, the ink comes out through this opening directly into a tank. You never have to change a cartridge. All you have to do is buy a set of the ink. Now I have both the Epson 2760, which has the paper um, feeding from the back, and it works better for um, cardstock, which I rarely use. Upstairs in my 
uh, office, I have the 37, 3760, um, which is more like my, um, just a second here, I can't glue and talk at the same time, apparently. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it the 3760 was more expensive uh, and it works just fine with lighter weight paper and photo paper, but not with cardstock. And the paper is not fed from a um, vertical position. It, it's in a horizontal position, has to come in, around, and out. Okay, so now we have our maps for orientation. Now I think I'm gonna um, cut a, a, or print a couple more of these but they're going to go in here. I may have to decorate something there, do a little something here. And what I shall do is place this marvelous thing on the cover. That way um, we've got, I mean, I'm still incorporating it, but let's see what it ends up with. A little bit later today, I'm going to, do the story for the grandchildren and the ceremonial placement. Nothing left to say, but I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. Happy family tree climbing, everybody, and journaling. That's a wrap.